All right, Pisces, what's up? I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. Uh, into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So we're gonna, just going to do a general spread. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, please give me clarity and guidance for the collective, for the sign of Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node placements. Pisces. So first card out, we have the caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. All right. Whoa. Then we get the ant. Work, achievement, and success. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah. Hurrah. That's funny because I was singing that song the other day. Anyways. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys, for being patient. I had to take a weekend off to... Uh, for what? <laughs> Spiritual upgrading. No. All right. So you get the ant, but I did. Uh, me and a girlfriend went to the hot springs here in Washington. Maybe I'll post a picture later. It was it was amazing. Um, and then they had like an ice pool, which was hella cold, but supposed to be good. So we all jumped in there from the hot water and it was traumatic. <laughs> but it was fun. Um, yeah. And then spent some time with the kiddos this weekend. So, all right. Thanks for being patient and getting these readings out. Um, if anybody would like a personal reading, I will be going live either tonight or tomorrow. Um, haven't decided yet. So stay tuned for that. I will post, um, an update before I do so. All right. Then we get the scissors disappointment in some affair. All right. Oh, and on our little excursion to the hot springs, I found this like really cool hippie bus up in uh, Port Angeles, I believe it was. And um, I got some new crystals. They had some really cool crystals there uh, and they were pretty cheap. So, you know, I got carried away over there getting some, getting some new crystals. So and baby bear got some, got a ring with one. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Okay. All right, more messages, please. For Pisces, the lobster, financial pinch. Well, damn. All right, we'll clarify these, so stay, stay tuned. All right, two more. Two more for Pisces, please. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life in the rooster, an arrogant or boastful person you should not cross. Well, that's cool. Okay. Hopefully that's the person leaving your life. <laughs> All right, so empty chair. Somebody is leaving your life. And the rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. All right, let's see. What is this about, spirit? Things will not always be this way for Pisces. Things will not always be this way. What is this about? will not always be this way for Pisces. What is this? Give me two cards, please. Jud or the world. I seen judgment earlier, but okay. So the world. And the eight of wands. So there may be some communication coming in from somebody at a distance here, or this is, uh, this is quick incoming communication. Uh, could be from Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or maybe somebody who's distant from you lives at a distance, or this could be about a cycle closing out. Um, let's just see. Closing out a cycle to have a new cycle, but there's some type of communication coming in. It's going to come in quick. It could be in the sun card, Leo, seven of cups. Mm. So the sun is here. All right, there will be clarity, there will be growth, happiness, um, but somebody here may be confused about love or somebody here may have other options in love. Um, I just heard hesitation. What is the Seven of Cups about? Seven of Cups, please. Five of Cups. So somebody here could be, you know, 
in some type of regret, sadness, emotional, you know, discontent. Maybe somebody here had other options. They regret looking at other options. These three cups are spilt. They didn't see the two of cups still standing behind them. Heavy emphasis on a Leo here. Um, there's some type of change coming. I feel like there's about, there's going to be messages being sent or action or travel. There could be travel involved. Uh, but with the sun card here, that's happiness. That's illumination, growth, expansion. So I feel like things will be expressed or brought to the light with this eight of wands and the sun card. This is like happy messages, but, uh, maybe somebody was confused. There could have, I didn't want to get into that energy, but there could have been like some love spells and that type of bullshit, but whatever. I'm not getting into that. Okay. Work, achievement, and success. What is this about? Two of wands. You, somebody here is on their destined path, okay? Somebody here. Destined path. Work, achievement, success. Page of Cups in the reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I feel like somebody here is um, with the Hermit on the bottom, Three of Swords, yeah, and Ten of Wands. Holy shit. So, okay. I feel like you're either like ghosting or going within, um, staying to yourself, dropping some type of a heartbreaking situation, and that's going to bring in some type of success. You may have been waiting on an apology. Could have been from a younger fire sign or, you know, somebody with a more childlike energy. Somebody who's page of cups in the reverse can be like, to me, that's like immature energy. I feel like you've made a choice to go in a certain direction and that's going to bring in some type of work success for you. That's going to like propel you. Hmm. Maybe you're no longer waiting on an apology. Show me disappointment in some affair, please. What is this disappointment about? Three cards. Six of swords could be in regards to moving, relocating, moving something into calmer waters. This may be somebody coming back towards you as well. Either way, I feel like you're choosing to stay single, abundant, good on your own. Disappointment in some affair. Four of Pentacles. I just heard like loud ringing in my ear, like for a long time. Typically, that's like a warning to me. Um, okay. You may be holding back your, your time, your energy, your resources. I feel like you're going to be okay. Pre-Empress pre energy here. Nine of Pentacles. Independent. Self-sufficient. Doing good on your own. You may be um, like holding back your time, your energy, your resources. Or this could be somebody doing this to you. Um, but six of, six of Swords is here, and it kind of came out sideways. So this makes me feel like somebody's coming towards you or traveling towards you, especially with this World Card Eight of Wands over here. It's like um, somebody who left may be coming back. You may be choosing to hold back your energy from this person. You may be moving away to calmer waters, choosing to stay single, stable. This could cause a disappointment to someone else. You may see this person as someone who is immature. You may know, like with this two of wands, you may already know which way or which direction you're going to go. You may be choosing work over love here because I see pentacles and then the, the cups are in the reverse, sadness and confusion, you know? It's like the love here is you don't trust it. 
yeah, you don't trust it. All right, let's move on. You may need to also spend wisely with this four of pentacles and then this financial pinch showing out here. Uh, you may be trying to save your money, penny pinch, you know, conserve. Um, or just be smart. Like, don't overspend at this time. You may be saving to travel or to move. Four cups. Yeah, you're... you're when it comes to love, I feel like you may reject something. Or this may be somebody who rejected you. What is this? Because of a financial pinch? Or somebody was having fin finan financial problems? Queen of Cups coming out sideways. Four of Wands. Page of Cups. I keep getting that ringing. This time it was this year. It's not really like a ringing. It's like a static interference. <laughs> Radio wave interference. Oh, what are you doing? So there may be somebody wanting to come in and apologize. This person may be coming to your house. I feel like you may reject this person. I don't feel like you... Queen of Cups coming out sideways. I feel like you love... You may care about this person because you're the Queen of Cups. You have a lot of love to give here. Queen of Cups is someone who is very loving, makes decisions based out of love, also very intuitive. But again, I felt at the same time, you may feel like this person throws your intuition off, like they they fuck your energy up, okay? I'm just going to keep it real. Um, you may be guided as well. You got three fours out here, okay? Um, you may be listening to your intuition and, you know, to your spirit guides, and I feel like you're guided to, like... This, this isn't, this four of cups is like something that does not fulfill you, you know? But you may have this person coming in with an apology. Either way, I feel like you got on your destined path and you stopped waiting for an apology. There was some type of disappointment here that happened. I don't know if it's past, present, or future. But, um, something, you had to cut, with these scissors, you had to cut something out, cut something off. It may have made you sad because, again, I feel like you care for this person, but it's like it throws your intuition off. You you know that this person only brings, I don't want to say burdens, but like four of cups, five of cups, seven of cups, and page of cups reverses. Like this person plays with your fucking emotions. You know what I mean? It's like they create confusion. They make you sad. Um, they may have chose somebody else over you. Okay. Um, it's like you love something here or you have love for something, but you don't love something anymore. Does that make sense? It doesn't mean that you wish bad upon them or you wish ill upon them. It just means that, you know, this isn't really what makes me happy anymore. And you may be rejecting this. This person may come to your house with an apology, but it's again, it's a page. So maybe this person is younger. All right. So if your guides are urging you to sail away from this situation, like move away from this situation and, you know, stay single, independent, hold your energy back and you let this person in. I feel like that's what could cause this financial pinch for you, okay? It's not going to be forever, but this will delay things or delay something that you're trying to work on, okay? I do see work achievement and success, so I feel like you're you're doing well at work. You're climbing up the ladder. Maybe you're going to get a promotion or, um, uh, you know, have to relocate to work, you know, for your, like, maybe you have to relocate here for your job but something here will be a success there may be a small financial pinch if you do have to like relocate maybe you have to save up your money to do so but in the end it will be uh rewarding you know um and things will not always be this way with this caterpillar here it's like things will not always be this way there is a change coming pisces what is this arrogant boastful person wow the king of wands coming out sideways 
That Do you guys see how quick that flew out? Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also be a single mother here. That's also what I see. I, I feel like maybe you don't have very much love in your life, uh, but you do have stability, okay? Four of Cups is like kind of like boredom, discontent with love. Four of Wands is stability. It's a structure. It's a foundation, okay? It's also a happy celebration or, you know, so you may be like happy at home. You may be, you know, with this Queen of Cups, um, Page of Cups, you could be a single parent here. Masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. All right, let's see. What else about this arrogant, boastful person that we should not cross? Fucking Queen of Swords, all right, and the lovers, wow. So this could be a couple. An Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Heavy emphasis on Gemini, the lovers here. This could be two people in a relationship, all right, who are acting, really? All my cards are in the upright, but full card in the reverse. You don't want to take a risk with these people. The full card in the upright is about taking risk, Aries energy. You don't want to take a risk when it comes to these two individuals. This is somebody who is cutthroat, very intelligent. What is this Queen of Swords? This could be somebody in the government. Damn, Ten of Cups reversed? Shit. This could be some type of family dynamic that has ended. Or somebody in your family. Tell me more. Nine of Cups. Or Eight of Cups. Just joking. Um, walking away from a situation here. Walking away from family. Could be an air sign. Four of Pentacles. Holding back your time, your energy. You need to like... Okay. So this is one of those situations where I feel like somebody's trying to trigger you, Pisces. Okay? It's like... You have four fours out here too. It's like you these people, okay, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So don't fuck with this person, period. Just hold back your time, your energy, your resources. Walk away from the situation. All right, this is Ten of Cups reverse. This is unhappiness within a family dynamic. Okay. Uh what is the lovers? Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Somebody here is feeling trapped and bound in a mental prison or even going to jail because of child support. This could be somebody who you're in a relationship with or whatever. Okay. King of Wands. What is this King of Wands doing? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. What is that? Nine of Wands. This person is very passionate, very well could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person is going to rush in, wanting to invest into you, wanting to invest time. Um, three of Wands. This may be somebody who you are waiting on or somebody who you turned your back on. All right. Or they turned their back on you because they were a player. They could have planted seeds elsewhere. All right. Either way, you don't take a risk with this person. This person is going to rush in very passionately. Uh arrogantly with the king of wands coming out sideways justice yeah don't take a risk on this person this will be this person may come in trying to balance the scales what is justice or this could be a libra nine of swords because they're up in their head worried losing sleep at night why why five of pentacles in the reverse because they they're feeling left out in the cold this person may have left you out in the cold now they want to come back in or they left you out in the cold and you're trying to get back in but i don't see it that way that's not yeah, you know who this is. This person was arrogant, boastful. Uh, they don't play fair. They may come in, you know, wanting to make something fair, but it's because they're worried that you're leaving them behind. Period. They may try and use sex as a as a weapon. Stop buns. Let me see. Ouch. Don't bite. Um, someone is leaving your life. What is this? Who is this? Three cards. Wow. 
Wow. Queen of Swords sideways and the Emperor reversed. Very well could be an Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is here. This is somebody who you cut off or this is somebody who's not a good father or a good mother, whatever. They're not a good parent. They're not, they're not a leader. They don't take like they're losing control of a situation. This person is not handling shit very well right now. All right. This is that arrogant, boastful person. Five of Wands in the reverse. You don't want the drama with this person. You don't want to fight with this person. That You know, this person may put you in competition. I feel like you're not with that shit. You could be cutting this person out. Page of Wands reverse. This is going to be a message of bad news. Justice. Libra and energy. There may be something in court as well. What is justice? The moon reverse. Somebody's secrets are coming out here. Pisces, Cancer, Libra energy. And this is going to be a message of bad news. What is the moon? Could be about children. Ten of swords. Wow. Page of, or page of pentacles, page of swords. Somebody here could be spying on children. Or this could be about child support. Or there could be two children. An air sign child. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you may be finding out about some children. This may come as a betrayal. It could have been with this Queen of Swords here and this Emperor. Uh, there's a message of bad news, though, for sure. Somebody's plan is not going according to plan. This could be something going on in the court system. You may find out something here. Somebody's worried that you're leaving them out in the cold. So they're going to come in and rush and try and, like, love bomb you. Want to invest into this situation. But it's only because you're leaving them behind. And I feel like that's the right thing to do. With the Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. You have the Four of Pentacles out here a few times. It's like there's no good love here. Okay? Period. There's none. There's not one cup out here in a favorable, you know, way. It's all sadness, confusion, boredom, discontent. Something that makes you feel off. I feel like there will be some clarity that comes in. Some messages that come in. Maybe from somebody at a distance. This could be about a child with the sun card here. It could be about a son. We have a lot of pages out here too. So a lot of immature like energy. You have an emperor in reverse, a king of wands sideways, the queen of swords sideways and in reverse. There will be balance restored here. I feel like somebody will be leaving your life, but um, I don't see any negative cards like death or anything like that. So I don't feel like it's, you know, in a fucked up way. I feel like this is that arrogant, boastful person that's going to be leaving your life. This person may be coming back towards you because they're in a financial pinch with the Five of Pentacles out here. That's why they're worried. Five of Pentacles in the reverse because somebody's being left out in the cold. Okay, they're worried because they want to come back in from the cold. But you need to hold back from this person. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Hold back. Walk away from the situation emotionally. Ten of Cups. This brings a lot of unhappiness within a family dynamic. This person you know, is not doing the right thing. They're not doing the right thing. They're abusing their power and authority here in a situation. There could be a lot of children out here as well. One, two, three, four, five. I see five right here. I think there's actually six out here, but um, anyways, whatever. Um, Yeah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. Things will not always be this way. Whatever's going on right here, Pisces, I feel like there's a change about to happen. You may be finding out some stuff. Somebody may be coming towards you trying to like, I don't even know. They're doing it for their own um, agenda, okay? Spirit says don't take any risks when it comes to this person. I feel like you may have done that in the past. Okay, don't do not do it now. Use your intuition. I feel like this person also tries to cause confusion. They play on your emotions here with this Queen of Cups sideways, Seven of Cups. It's like this person plays on your emotions. It's like they know that you care or that you're a loving person so that they try to use that to like get what they want. But I feel like you may have learned your lesson. If not, you should. This is an arrogant, boastful person, okay? The King of Wands coming out sideways and the Emperor reverse. That's arrogant as fuck, okay? That's just like, 
somebody that you can't even reason with. You can't even argue with them. So that's why Spirit's telling you to walk away. Like, this is going to bring a lot of unhappiness. This person is worried because you're walking away. All right? But this is only going to end in a betrayal or you're going to find out about some type of betrayal. Somebody may be going to jail because of child support. Some type of secrets are out. Maybe about a Libra or about something that happened in court. Okay. Maybe a bad choice or something that somebody was planning, but it didn't go according to plan because somebody here lost control of a situation. There could have been multiple people involved here too. With this five of wands in the reverse, there could have been, well, we have the queen of swords out here twice. We have the emperor reverse and the king of wands. Uh, sideways and the Queen of Cups, you. Okay, and Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone from your past who feels who feels left out in the cold from a situation. They see you over here happy, working on your investments, and it has them worried up in their head. Like, yeah. Okay, so let's close this out with a couple Oracle cards. Let's get some advice. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what do you want to tell Pisces in regards to this reading? What advice? Or angel answers deck. What advice? Any advice? Any extra words for them? Actually, I think I'm going to do a card from this deck for advice. Advice, please, for Pisces. Balance, showing up in loneliness. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Loneliness, I know that I am never alone. So Pisces, if you're feeling alone at this time, just know you're never alone. You may be feeling a little bit lonely with that four cups that was out here. That's what I was getting. You may be feeling a little bit bored, discontent, or there may even be a little bit of sadness, you know, or confusion. Like why, why did things happen this way? I don't even know. I feel like you kind of know. I just feel like you don't have all the facts, okay? Maybe somebody never apologized. Maybe somebody never, with that page of cups in the reverse, maybe somebody never really expressed, you know, their emotions or their, their truth, you know, in a situation. I feel like shit got out of hand. Somebody lost control here with the emperor in the reverse. <coughs> I feel like somebody may have gotten intertwined with the air sign who rocked their world. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, balance, okay? you bring a perfect state of harmony into your life and you do so without judgment. So don't feel bad, you know, adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Exactly. I feel like this was a challenge. This was something that you had to go through to learn from it. Okay. Something to make you stronger, something to, to propel you or maybe get you on your destined path with that two of wands. I do feel like you will have success, but you got to leave something behind here. What you got to leave something behind that caused a lot of sadness in your life, a lot of confusion. This is not a Ten of Cups. It's a Ten of Cups in the reverse, okay? You need to walk away from this situation. Hold back your time, your energy, even if it hurts, Pisces. Sometimes, you know, we have... A lot of times, Pisces will... Um, even if you don't want to do something, but somebody needs something or somebody wants you to do something, you'll do it anyway just because you feel like if you can make somebody else happy, that it can make you happy. That's fucked. That's fucked up way of thinking. Okay. And I can say this because I'm one of these Pisces. So, um, you know, even if something hurts you, it's a, this is what you had to learn. You had to learn like whatever this situation was meant to happen this way. It was divinely orchestrated. Justice came out twice in the upright. Okay. Things will go in your favor, but you need to make the right choice here. Did you learn new lessons? I feel like you did with justice in the revert or in the upright. It's like, uh, something here, here will be made fair and balanced. All right, let's get a, three cards from the Angel Answers. Yeah, there will be a peaceful resolution, Pisces. You will be at peace, okay? I feel like that's what you're... I feel like something here disrupted your life, caused so much, like, confusion. Somebody was abusing their power and authority with you here. And I feel like you're cutting these people off with these scissors. This arrogant, boastful person will be leaving your life. Sayonara. Mother of efforts. All right. Remain positive. The situation will improve in the near future. One more. And don't stop. Please don't stop the music. All right. Don't stop, Pisces. Keep going. Keep going. Don't look back. Don't stop. Okay. Just keep going. In the near future, there will be a peaceful resolution. 
You need to remain positive in the situation. The situation will improve, all right? So Pisces, that's what I got for you guys. If this reading resonates, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.